Hey, Andrew from DD Microphones here. Today I'm on set with Fletcher. You may know him as the location sound mixer for that viral video Power Rangers movie that we all wish they had made. Fletcher today is going to teach us all about plant microphones. So first, what is a plant mic? Um, a plant mic is a small mic that you're going to hide on an object or a prop on set, usually to get it closer than you'd be able to with a boom mic. Okay, but is a plant mic always omnidirectional? Is it cardioid? What kind of mics are we talking? Uh, cardioid you can use if you know kind of the action or where dialogue is going to take place, but if the set's quiet, I'd go omni just to make sure. Cool. Well, we've got a quiet set behind us. Let's go take a look and let's hide some microphones. So we're on our first setup. How would we mic this up? I'd put the mic in the plant for sure. Plant mic in the plant. Uh, it's equidistant from both actors. If they were wearing lobs, you know, and they overlap dialogue, you could get phasing issues. Cool. So what do we need to do, though, when it comes to actually putting it in the plant? Is there a department on set we need to talk to? Yes. Uh, I would definitely check with art department. You don't want to mess up anything in their shot and on camera. And also, you, you want to make them aware that you're placing something in there to avoid, you know, a lob getting severed or a transmitter getting dropped or... Yeah. Remember, lavaliers are delicate. We really don't want them getting snipped on set. They already break enough as it is. So we've got it all hidden. What do we need to do now? Is there any troubleshooting after we've hidden the mic? Definitely check on camera. Double check with art department first, then check on camera, make sure everybody's happy, and say you're good to go. Little blinking red lights, anything we need to oh, worry about there? Yes, yes, make sure all your lights are taped up. Uh, use black gaff or whatever you need to use. The light can peek right through and set decorations and, you know, ruin a shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chen Li coming in hot. How did you do that? <laughs> I'm a master. You didn't know? I have nobody come back. <laughs> you just suck. Ooh. How dare you? <laughs> Let's go take a look at setup number two. We're on our second setup. We've got a button down shirt with a front pocket. What kind of microphone can you plant here? Uh, what we can do is feed a mic through this pen, pop it right here in the pocket, cut a hole through, and then feed the cable. Okay, so let's do that. We've already prepped a pen for this shot. We're using a Bic stick. They're the easiest pins to take apart, and they allow you to even have big giant microphones like this little guy right here. What he's gonna do is he's putting a moleskin that's been folded in on itself so all the sticky is touching sticky and it's just nice and soft. He's putting this into the cap. We've removed the top of the cap so the microphone sound can get out and it's not blocked by any plastic. When he puts the pin together into the cap, that moleskin is gonna put pressure behind the microphone and it's gonna hold it all in place with friction. So we've built our microphone. We put it in our pocket. Now, what kind of setups can we use this on? You can definitely try it on like a military type uniform or any kind of polyester or nylon. Um, the cloth itself makes noise when actors are walking around. It'll get scratchy. So this will actually lift it away from the fabric a little bit and give you a cleaner signal. What kind of departments on set do we need to talk to to pull this off? Definitely check with wardrobe. You want to make sure the pen's okay in the shot and also that you're allowed to cut a hole through the fabric. Awesome. Let's go take a listen to what that sounds like. Sorry guys, I had I had a presentation for it. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> it's just one more, one more um, minute. Um, I don't, you know, this thing is just like, you know, um, just give me more. So we're about to shoot in a really small space. Can we use a plant mic in this? We can. We can't use a boom. We can't fit our bodies in there. So what we can do is take this shotgun, put it on a dinkum arm, straight into a transmitter, and then clip this right up on the door frame. Okay, cool. Uh, is there anything else we need to worry about given the small space and we have to share it with lighting? Definitely don't want to cast shadows. Want to make sure we're clear of all reflections, especially in the mirror, depending on where the camera is and where it moves, you know, things can change. So always check the monitors, ideally be behind camera for a rehearsal or something. Cool. So let's give this a listen. Oh my God, I could not believe that TV salesman, his shirt was so wrinkled, like so unprofessional. He looked like a a wrinkled like picnic blanket. And there you have it, three types of plant microphones. We did the one in the actual plant. Showed you the uh, pen microphone. And then we did the super cardioid above the door in the bathroom to show you how that little dinkum, the dinkum arm. So leave a comment below. The best comment's gonna win a D3 Pro. Don't forget to like, notify, follow, all that good stuff on social media. Thank you for watching. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones. I win. They're not plugged in.